And could the future of the MBTA come in the form of the Red Line extension? Well, the town of Arlington is looking to give public transit the green light. NBC 10 political reporter Matt Pritchard is live in Arlington tonight. This is so curious, Matt, because decades ago, Arlington wanted nothing to do with the T. Yeah, Glenn, Priscilla, that's absolutely right. And really what they're asking for now is red line expansion. But as you sort of hinted at there, that's easier said than done when you have a history of sort of saying that you didn't want those rail options in your community. If you talk with Arlington locals... I'm a big fan of trying to get, like, trains back in the public conscious. It keeps more cars off the road, and, you know, the traffic here is ridiculous. You'll find a wide range of transit opinions. They got the buses now. You know, it works out. Buses, bikes, and cars dominate the densely populated town, with MBTA rail service just a few miles away. Now, the reason for that distance dates back to 1976, and a law lobbied for by the community itself crippling red line expansion. There was no vision for the town. Now, 48 years later, Paul Schlickman says that was a mistake. If we don't get the transit to go along with the, the increased density, we're just going to be car constipated. And taking that argument directly to MBTA board members. Transit is in our DNA. The original design of the Red Line extension took it through Arlington Center. It's a different town. The idea itself is pretty straightforward. Take the red line from where it currently ends here at Alewife and create two stations here in Arlington and Arlington Heights. But before those talks can really get started, lawmakers here on Beacon Hill will need to take action. It's about really trying to connect public transportation to the town of Arlington. Now, Representative Garbley, along with Representative David Rogers and Senator Cindy Friedman, have expressed support for the town's home rule petition. It has been passed by the House. Hopefully it'll be passed by the Senate. Words that spur on supporters. There's no reason why the legislature wouldn't want to re repeal a mistake. Now, keep in mind, even if that law was to be repealed, a lengthy process would then follow with planning, studies, just general conversations as well, all taking place. So a lot to watch for as this process potentially moves forward. In Arlington, Matt Pritchard, NBC 10 Boston.